Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph Moon for anyone that is new and today we are doing a different style of reading. Um, I've done one of these in the past but uh, since that video I've grown a lot more in my spiritual journey and I do this method for connecting with my own guides um, and I wanted to bring that to all of you and I'll just explain a little bit about what we will be doing and what we might come across. Um, so when I connect with my guides I go into the Akashic Records which is um, it's basically like accessing Pat, all timelines <laughs> and working with all beings um, and yeah I've been doing this for quite some time now and I just want to let everyone know that there is many different entities that can come into our life at different points um, of our awakening Sometimes we might be going through something really hard and we're in a little bit of a state of depression and we might attract lower vibe entities, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, my intention today is not to um, really uh, communicate with those types of energies. So um, if you are ever going through something really hard and you're wondering like is there something around you, uh, just give me a little email and we can maybe try and uh, book uh, something with you to help see what maybe is in your space and what's affecting it. However, I never know uh, what will come up um, when I do this because it might just be something that you really need to hear right now. Um, but at the end of the day, I know that I am protected. I only go up, um, go up go into, I don't know where we call this, but <laughs> my consciousness. I go there with my guide, um, my main guide, and yeah, I know that I'm protected. I also uh, did a little ritual before um, starting this, and I am ready. I'm all set. This is exciting. So many different things can come up. You could get um, an element so literally it could just be earth, air, water or fire. You can get um, elementals, all things mystical. You could get angels. You could get demons. You could get, I'm trying to think what we else, what else we've come across. Um, Palladians, Syrians, all other celestial be beings, planets plants <laughs> the list goes on um so what i will do and i'll kind of explain how i do it i have my own method of going into the akashic records um but when i get there i it's kind of hard to explain this but mainly what i try to try to do is go through a door and then see what i see through that door and that is going to be your energy. Your energy is going to be on the other side of that door. So I will be seeing what's in your energy through from the minute I go through that door. But I will also pick up feelings, colors, and stuff like that before entering. So I kind of already know what I will be going into. Um, but I'm always um, ready for it because I know that I'm protected and I'm safe. And I always... Um, well, I'm going to be making a video on this in the future, but about spirit guides and stuff like this, because it seems a lot more complicated than it needs to be. So I want to make a video on that as well. It's it's quite easy once you're grounded. Um, but yeah, I'm going off, off uh, on a tangent here. Um, yeah, basically, if this doesn't resonate, don't worry. <laughs> um, use your own feelings how you feel about this reading you don't have to like it you don't have to think anything of it this doesn't have to be anything serious um and for some people that it might not resonate with it might still be a little bit woo woo to you um but that's fine too if i watched this video a year ago i would have been thinking i was crazy so 
Uh, everyone is on their own journey and that is fine, okay? This is just something that I wanted to do because I thought that maybe it would be interesting for some of you. And yes, so I'm only going to do three groups today because um, maybe in the future I'll do more. But we're just going to see how this goes. Um, so yeah, choose between group number one, group number two or group number three. And we will begin. I'll pause the video now just before uh, we start so I can ground myself. <laughs> Hello group number one. So uh, just before we begin, I want to say a little few things maybe uh, that I didn't say in the intro. So this is no different from reading tarot. This is just a different style and by no means is this meant to scare you or make you afraid of anything that might come up. I don't think anything will come up to be honest, but I am just observing energy that's all I'm doing so if I see something that comes across as quite scary it's showing me that because there's an emotion or a frequency attached to that that's in your energy field that's basically all it is it's nothing to be afraid of so if I say I see something or a person that looks kind of scary there might be a twist to it this person might be showing you something that has a lot of depth and meaning to it so sometimes scary things can show up and I've had that in the past where actually really scary beings were actually amazing <laughs> and very helpful and yeah that's just all I want to say it's just energy and it's like also it's kind of like working with archetypes if you understand that um it's just energy so I don't want to freak anyone out and also if you do have um, a feeling that there is something lower vibrational in your energy. I can only guide you to understand it on a deeper level. I cannot cure you or anything like that because that is not in my alignment. Uh, it's not something that I agree with and I don't agree with taking anyone's free will away or making them believe that I have more power over them because you have the power to do this kind of stuff that I'm doing. So that's just something I had to say before we begin. Um, so I will do tarot at the very end however just to kind of see a little bit more into it but for the first little bit I am going to have my eyes closed and I am going to just kind of guide you through what I'm picking up. Um, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, um, uh, because I've never spoken out loud. I've only done it for myself in my head, <laughs> um, and then journaled after. So yeah, I do, however, want to say before we begin that this group, I am definitely picking up that there is a lot of more masculine energy in your your aura or your energy field right now because I am seeing that everything is about communicating with people or collaborating or talking about um, you know getting projects out there it's very creative but in a very masculine way so it's all about creating something but getting it done as well the physical thing done so there's a lot of that I'm seeing a lot maybe of getting a little bit frustrated with certain things as well when it comes to clutter and organization and not really vocalizing clearly that's something that I'm seeing okay and there is a little bit of um there's a little self doubt as well with how certain projects or something will go in your life so that's just something that I'm picking up before we begin um so let's just bear that in mind but for now I'm going to sit back and I will begin so uh, it might take me a minute um but let's just go with this so Okay, so I um, I just arrived. <laughs> I 
I'm going through um, a door with a yellow, a really bright yellow light shining through. So that's just what I am seeing right now. I'm also seeing the number two on the door and uh, down at the mat, there's actually um, it's like a semicircle like rug that has uh, a rainbow on it, which is very, this is a very nice, this is where I'm getting that creativity from. And yeah, I'm, I'm sensing a lot of respect before even entering the room. So I do feel like you are someone maybe that respects your home and is someone, just by looking at the door, it's very fun energy. So I do think that right now you have very bright, warm, joyful energy and a little bit childish, which I like. Um, I, this could also be a kid's bedroom for some of you um, because I am sensing that there's hesitance, something stopping me from going into this room. Uh, so I'm not sure what that is. So there's like resistance here to even enter the room. That's just something that I'm picking up. And I'm not sure what that is. It's almost like, it's almost like I want to go through a different door. Okay. It's in, there is indecisiveness here. It's like I'm looking at another door that has a lot of smoke coming out of it. Not scary. This is not scary. This is more like um, purple kind of smoke screen, kind of mystical. So I'm not sure, but I'm not focused on that. That's just something maybe that you are working through. So I'm not going to go through that door because I don't feel like there's anything in there that I need to look at right now. I am drawn to this door. This is the door that I found first. So that is where I'm going to head. Okay. I am seeing that you're someone who likes to uh, connect with the moon. Or if you haven't connected with the moon before, it is um, a celestial being that would like to work with you because of your creativity and the way that you flow energetically. There is something about the way that you are as an artist that just moves in emotion that a lot of people wish that they had there is um yeah so i'm seeing that the energy right now is definitely the moon but i want to see there's so, there was something on the other side of the room that i need to um focus in on it's again i'm not looking at it hold on <laughs> um Okay, I'm seeing there is a child here so this could be um, many things they are digging something up they're almost like digging a little trench and they're this is like a game to them it's like they're scooping some water out and then going back to the start of the trench and pouring some more in so I'm not sure what that means. You use your intuition with that. But this this child is someone who kind of comes in and out of your life um, a lot. Uh, this could be this could be a future child of yours, or this could be you and uh, a, your past self. So this is um yourself in There, yeah, there's almost like a rip, um, a loop here. It's like I'm seeing a portal here and then a portal over here. And this child is skipping through that port. It's almost like that video game portal. <laughs> it's the child is going through here and coming out here with the bucket and 
putting it into the trench. Sorry, this is very detailed. Uh, but I do feel like there is a lot of scare. There's a feeling of scarcity that um, there's not going to be enough abundance for everyone. Or there's you don't you're trying to trick the system into having more abundance. So that is the energy I'm picking up. And this child is making it very much fun. So I feel like you've lost a little bit of the fun aspect of creating abundance for yourself. Yeah, because this liquid is getting gooey. It's not, it's not even water anymore. It's kind of like, my guide's taking me over <laughs> to look into the trench. The trench is like gooey. So I feel like this has to do, I'm seeing now my guides is showing me this. I feel like this has to do with um, cleaning out um, your pipes. Um, so that has <laughs> literally like your lungs or whatever it is that you feel like needs cleaning. There is internal cleaning needing done here. And I am hearing that anyone is want, that is wanting children, that you need to look after your health first before you uh, think about having a child. Because there is a child here for anyone that is wanting a child wanting children and this child is coming in out of in and out of your life to uh, teach you how to look after yourself and to m mother or father yourself whichever element or, or sorry whichever you resonate masculinity or femininity whichever is more connected to you I Okay, I'm feeling like it's okay. I am ready to go. So we'll just take whatever we find there and we are going to come back and we will pull some tarot cards. So I'm going to come back. So bear with me. Okay. Wow, that was 12 minutes. <laughs> that didn't feel that long. Oh, okay. I saw some doves and birds come. Uh, doves came with me to take me down. Um, so maybe there is um, something there for you. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to ask some questions to the tarot. So this is the deck I'm using. Uh, I forget the name of it, sorry. <laughs> um, so I am going to ask what, what was the first thing that I seen? Okay, so what had, what was that, what was the door? So we're going to look at the door first um, and what comes through with that. Because I liked, I really liked the, the way that the door came through to me. Um, but there's, okay. We have the Ten of Swords, so there is some sort of re resistance here. I feel like this has to do with your taking life a little bit too seriously and you know it in your heart that that is what is wrong. So it's almost like this new chapter, this new chapter of your life. The, so the door that I went through is something that you have been feeling and maybe getting signs, but you haven't really went there, if you know what I mean. And I honestly think that, I'm just going to look at this card. I honestly think that whatever has been going on with you lately, you're going to come to a point where you are going to feel a little bit burnt out and you're going to have to start enjoying life again and being a little bit more, more um, carefree and just enjoying the things that you have. A lot of gratitude coming up here and working with more of that feminine energy because I feel that that's what you're kind of afraid of and yeah, so I'm picking up with that. Let's now 
So you had the energy of the moon, which I love. <laughs> I don't really work with the moon, to be honest, anymore. I used to, um, but I'm more working with Venus. Um, but I want to see what, which is also a feminine energy. I feel like the moon wants to work with you. I don't know if you work. I didn't get the feeling that you... I don't really feel like you're working with any of these or feeling these energies as much. So this might be a little bit confusing um, because we have the moon there and we have water. I, okay, hold on, sorry, cards fell on the floor. This is interesting. Okay, first I have two cards. Um, we have the four of swords. So this might be um, something to do with the moon is wanting to be there for you. Because that's why I've seen her shining through the window. She is there for you to kind of talk to or to understand maybe why you are having trouble or nightmares. And she will help you communicate or not communicate, sorry, that's not the word I'm looking for. She will help you understand um, different symbolism in your dreams. So that's how she wants to help you. It has a lot to do with your dreams, but it also has to do with your intuition. She really wants to help you bring your intuition um, to a whole different level because we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like the, the energy of the moon is coming into your life at this point because she sees that motherly energy that you have and she wants to bring something that has to do with this. It's, I love this card. Oh my god! Sorry, I haven't really used. I haven't used this deck at all, really. Um, I really love. She's up there, and as well, I was water was another thing that I saw. So this is interesting because. I feel like you are waiting for some news and you're also a little bit afraid of getting older. There's that fear there as well, but she is going to kind of help you calm the waters because I'm feeling like that's what's not really been going your way recently because you have... I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> I think I said something about um, the way that you... F I did say something about the way that you flow, but I'm not sure if that was... Anyway, I don't want to go off on a tangent. I feel that she wants to bring you back into alignment with your inner waters, your inner creativity, your inner intuition. So she that's what she wants to work with because you're a natural um, intuitive person and... I think that you're getting carried away with that purple door, which maybe, or the smoke coming out of it, because that, that's kind of that vibe, okay? So there is um, a little bit of energy that's coming up from up here, which I'm picking up that you're more interested in a lot of the more mysterious kind of Scorpio kind of energy. That's what I'm getting. Um... So yeah, and I just want to ask quickly about the child, because this is long. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I didn't mean for it. I thought this was going to be a quick video, but turns out, nope. Right, uh, we have the two of, this is like the portal. <laughs> the two of pentacles. This is like um, that energy. It's like, and I was talking about abundance. So you're trying to control the input and output of your abundance. And this also, I am also picking up that this also could do with um, trying to take control over your fertility or anything to do with that because I was seeing these as testicles <laughs> or ovaries but I it's just it's kind of like you threw everything up in the air and you aren't ready like everything is up in the air I'm not I don't see this card as being grounded 
because you aren't holding them. You're juggling everything at the minute. So that is what I'm picking up from that. So, yes, I love this. <clears throat> And I hope you loved it too. <laughs> uh, if you did, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to see more of these um, types of readings because I really, really enjoyed it. And yes, I will see you all in the future. Goodbye. Hello, group number two. So group number one went really well, actually. <laughs> I had fun. And yeah, before we begin, I just want to say a few things that I didn't say in the intro. So I just want to let everyone know that I am just observing energy and that is all that it is, okay? And there isn't going to be a frequency that I am seeing in your energy field, so an emotion. Um, so I just want to let anyone know that if there's something that comes up that maybe brings up um, a wound um, or fear or anything like that um, or something that I see that might scare you or anything like that that is not something to be afraid of that is just energy that I'm observing and the way that the images and feelings are coming towards me are just to help you understand something okay so there's not like there's something around you and things are going to fly off the walls or things like that, okay? Because that's not what we're doing here. I'm just observing to help guide you. And also, I can not um, tell spirits or anything to go away or anything like that. I don't class myself as someone who does that kind of stuff because it's not in my alignment anywhere um, or my journey or anything like that. And I don't agree with taking away anyone's free will or directing them on a path that may be not the right way for them. So that's just something that I want to say. I am only here to help and assist people on their journey and give them a little bit of guidance, okay? So that's just something that I wanted to say before we begin. Um, so uh, before I start as well, I want to say what I have kind of felt going into this energy. I, I felt that there is a little bit of um impatience with certain things that you want and I, i'm also feeling that you are trying to find the balance emotionally and things have kind of oh things are feeling like they're nearing the tipping point where you are about to fall or you're about to let your emotions just all come out so what my guide is already kind of showing me is getting into that Zen um, meditative state and this is definitely a time for you to connect with your feminine energy because I'm seeing that the impatience is coming from your masculine side and it's also has to do with maybe wanting to get people to communicate or open up or or even wake up or whatever you want to call it and that feeling that I'm getting is deep, deeply embedded in part of your soul, this, this impatience. So I feel like this has to do with something that's coming from past lives where you've prob probably witnessed a lot of things happening um, and you now don't understand why people um, don't get things like as quick as you do. That's what I'm picking up. So that's just to start off with. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect um, and I will have my eyes closed and I will guide you through what I'm seeing and all of that. And then at the end, we will pull some tarot cards to ask questions on maybe what I've seen. And yes, uh, let's begin. So just give me a minute to kind of go and connect. <clears throat> I went way I am very very you are definitely psychic <laughs> or you are we mm, whoa 
I'm way, <laughs> way up. Sorry, this is different from <laughs> group number one. I just need to um, give me a minute. Okay, I'm in a place that is very open. It's almost like I am in the sea, the ocean. And I'm like, it's almost like I'm at the, the bottom of the ocean. And the door, I haven't really figured out where the door is yet. So I, you may, maybe you're someone who's very interested in the ocean. Like marine biology or anything to do with that. Or there's just some sort of um, fantasy with. Mermaids, because I am seeing mermaids swimming around. They're guiding me, actually. So I feel like that is um, a guide for you, is connecting with mermaid energy. Um, and the beauty, the sensuality of... They're wearing pearl necklaces as well, and they're showing me that. They... They're telling me to pay attention. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm, I keep being guided to stop. So I'm seeing distraction here in my energy. So that means that this is linked to your impatience. It's like you get distracted very easily. That's why it's taking me a little minute. Okay. I am now entering a door that is actually going up into a boat. So I, they've, they have guided me up here. I'm seeing a weird, a weird energy that's Pulling me, this is like a male, masculine energy. It's got a, it's almost like a man with, um, he's a little bit freaky. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's almost like a sp spider man, <laughs> not the actual spider man. This energy is something that I need a minute to figure out. He is, yes, he's trying to learn as much as he can because he pulled me over and he sat me down and he is trying to eat eat the ear off me literally like in my ear so this is kind of like I feel like I have no space so I'm not sure if that's how people feel around you at the minute that you're maybe just in people's energy a little bit too much so if you're someone who is very extroverted or you are someone, I feel like you are someone who is very empathic just by that whole experience because <laughs> you, um, yeah, but there is, I feel that there is a little bit of annoyance like um, in your energy field. So this works both ways um, as people are a mirror reflection of ourselves, but this entity it's a little um, annoying. It's just annoying. So that's a lower vibration I'm picking up. So I feel like you're getting frustrated, um, impatient and annoyed at certain things. And I think it has a lot to do with knowledge because he's telling me to look at the book. Being human, it's a, like the... The book has in block capitals, being human and all of the steps, but it's like scribbled out and now he closed it. Okay, um, I feel like you're frustrated <laughs> with people telling you how to be. So I don't know why um, this is happening. You also have a younger spirit around you. So this could be someone 
who maybe has passed um, because the other spirit has just crawled up to the roof so I don't know where he went but we're on the bottom of the boat and she's now guiding me up to the top of the deck both of them are here actually now I am um, being told to sit down so I'm sitting down on the side and we're just looking out at the water She's showing me an amulet. She's she's showing me like a necklace. Um and she's telling me that keeping her close to your heart is going to be something that you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel her energy around you. So I'm not sure who that message is for, but there is a small she's about she looks like she's 14, but she's quite small. Um, or the number 14 might resonate as well. Remember, everything has little bits of meaning and, and depth to them. So I'm not sure the amulet, the number 14, the girl. Um, this could be yourself as a younger uh, or even in a past life because you're very um, intuitive. So I'm very high up there in the realm. <laughs> <clears throat> You are worrying about not being able to find your purpose because you don't feel like you have one right here. And being on this boat is just making me really appreciate things because I'm looking around me and there is just so much color in the ocean. Like there's light. It's almost like the the northern lights is coming up from the ocean and not it's not in the sky the sky is quite dark and the stars are very very low um but it's all to do with balancing your emotions this is what it's all coming down to i'm seeing this clearly now it's like you need to not be afraid of feeling emotions. You need to just sit with them and observe them because that's what I'm doing on this ship right now. I'm feeling quite intense. So I am, as some of you may have um, back pains. I feel like that has to do with your spinal fluid. So maybe just working on Working with the element of water, definitely, because that is one of um, the main things that came up here. Um, so just let that be something that you take with you. And I am going to go and go back down. So just bear with me. Wow. Wow, wow, that was intense. Okay, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> I just really love that um, so much. I'm not sure how you feel. Oh, that's, I was like, what's that light behind me? Sorry, it's the ring light reflecting on the window. Um, Okay, well, there was a few things that I want to touch upon. I want to see what the um, mermaids were and why they're maybe an archetype that you can work with. What were they trying to show? They were showing me the um, the jewelry, the pearls. So let's just see what they were, why they are something that showed up. The tower. Okay, it's funny. We started from the bottom of the sea and look. I feel that they are trying to take, they were trying to take me up as quick as they could. And I feel that's what that had to do with. Okay, so even though the sh we went to a ship, this also 
feels like this is the best thing that could probably connect right now but this tower card um i feel it had to do with you avoiding going up there because i seen you getting distracted so i feel like there is some sort of fear in letting go of certain material things um so certain things that you are attached to so maybe some of you are attached to wealth materials or anything or money or anything that is materialistic okay and that's keeping you off the main goal here the main goal here is working on having patience with other people i didn't see many no okay um yeah so i feel like that's what they were doing they were they were trying to guide you i also was hearing a lot of their their music as well so i feel like listening out for messages through music is um something that your guides is going to lead you towards certain things so here listening out or asking for music to send you um signs is what i'm picking up with that as well it's like the song of the sea <laughs> and yeah uh, i also want to ask what kind of What kind of spirit that was around me because that was um an energy that was a little bit frustrating not gonna lie i felt a little bit uncomfortable the way that i was approached so maybe there is people in your life i'm sorry about this unfocused um seriously hello <laughs> it's all this happened with um Pile number two last time I recorded here. Um, okay. Sorry. Okay, I maybe I should just shuffle down here because what am I what am I asking? I forgot. It's put me off track. Um yeah, oh yeah, I wanna ask what that was. There were, I didn't have any fear, I just felt really annoyed, like agitated around this. Um, being but it seems like he's just so there all the time so there's some sort of I feel like it has to do with attachment to wanting to know more 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 wanting to know everything like you, you're you not you're always wanting to know more information and this is um an entity that is kind of feeding off that entity energy whatever you want to call it he was an entity in where i was coming from so but this is just an energy in general that i was picking up um three of pentacles it's like you you're this is coming down i'm picking this up as you wanting to make something of yourself in this life you're wanting to have something that you can say that you you created that and you worked your ass off for it okay so you're you're wanting to know the the best the best way of doing it the best way of creating it and all all of the information that you need and not really having the time to listen to others as well and picking that up so maybe just really trying to focus on listening to others and collaborating with other people and seeing what that is because this is a good energy it's just i'm not sure why he was so latched on to me like and it was like are there people out there as well that maybe want to steal what you what you work hard at as well there could be some of that so that's just there's just different things here pick up whatever it is for you you're gonna you're gonna know what it is that you're trying to work through okay they're trying there is something trying to like there is a jealous energy as well to this it's like someone not wanting to let you go so that could be someone in your life and someone who wouldn't mind getting involved pretending that they're helping when they're really not that's just something for someone who maybe has that feeling of someone around them 
that's could be a little bit of what I was picking up with that. Um, and lastly, I just want to talk and see what that spirit was. Because this felt like, um, it felt fourth dimensional. It felt like an actual spirit that passed. Eight of Swords. I feel like this is either for some of you, it's someone that you haven't fully grieved over and you haven't let go yet. And this is saying that it's time for you to let go so that you can see the beauty and everything in life again. Um, and for others of you, this has to do with... Um, I'm just looking. She's This has to do with abandonment. Abandonment as well. And fear of get there's a fear of getting trapped as well. There has um that has a little bit to do with your childhood as well and growing up um maybe when you were around 14 because I remember I picked that up so maybe around that age you went through a little bit of a rough patch so there is two scenarios there for people so I just wanted to say that but around your teenage year years is when you started to feel disconnected okay and that is something that maybe you should try and go back and figure out, okay, what happened really then? And look at it now from where you are, okay? Because that's what I'm picking up. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading and leave a comment down below if this resonated in any way and let me know if you want to see more of these. I love doing them. <laughs> I just realized it's even more fun doing it for other people. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the future. Goodbye. Hello, group number three and welcome. So just a few things before we begin I that I didn't say in the intro. This is no different from reading tarot. This is just something that I am enjoying at the moment and I just would like to bring it on the channel. Um, I'm just reading energy. It's like reading cards, okay? And energy... It has an attachment to emotion, okay? So our frequency. So if there is any fear or confusion or anything, that's just the attachment to that emotion that I might be seeing, okay? So this uh, is nothing to be afraid of. Nothing's going to um, become more aware in your home or anything like that. You're, you are your own um, creator, if you want to call it that you are able to become aware of things that I might say and then you can change that, okay? So this is just something that is bringing awareness to your energy and stuff that you might be attracting into your energy field. It's not that I might, if I see something, like say I see a snake, it's not that a, a snake's gonna just come into your house someday, <laughs> okay? It's not anything like that. This is just what my guides is going to show me to make more sense for you okay hope that makes sense and also i just want to say that i am no way trying to act or seem or come across as some sort of um guru <laughs> i don't know that can like tell spirits to go away or energies to leave or clear your energy in any way okay um i can help heal people by bringing awareness so that's just basically what it is okay i don't i don't agree with um trying to influence people or take them off track from their spiritual journey okay so that's just also something that i want to say this is all just a little bit of fun and sometimes it might be a little bit healing with a little bit of tears or something i don't know i have people saying that they cry sometimes <laughs> watching my video so um yes anyway enough rambling that was two minutes of extra rambling i also want to say that this group just straight away i am definitely seeing that you 
are very much in touch with your own um, energy at the minute. I almost feel like you're starting to build upon um, a new foundation. There's just something very like stable and grounded about your energy, okay? So I just want to say that. And I feel like you also are very much connected to um, the astral realm and to spirit guys and things like that, okay? So you are a spiritual person, but you just recently started to ground yourself. And you're also starting to attract soulmate kind of energy or soul tribe people into your life. So that's just something that I'm picking up. So I feel like this is going to be a good little um, experience that I'm going to have. And I'm excited. So I'm going to now sit and um, take a little trip. <laughs> and yes, I will close my eyes and I will guide you through what I am seeing. And then we will pull cards at the end to like further go into depth of what I was witnessing. So Okay, that was fun. That was a little, little, ah, uh, it's okay, I'm still going. <laughs> there is a lot of harmony coming here because I went, almost like I went into, um, it's almost like I split and was experiencing two different um, journeys at the same time and then I came back to one. So I feel like uh, you have finally found who you are and what you want and you've not really been um, focusing on what other people want for you, for you in your life. So that's something that's very good. And I also am seeing that things have moved very quickly in your life. So there must have been a lot of changes here because that whole feeling was almost like a roller coaster ride, but it was like I was being sucked into a vent. So that was very strange actually, because it was like I was um, being sucked into a vent and I have, okay, that's enough. I'm just going to start, stop there. Um, The door that I am seeing is actually on the ground and I'm seeing the number four and five. Okay, maybe this has something to do with fourth dimension, fifth dimension. I just feel that Again, it's claustrophobic. There's something very claustrophobic about this pile. Um, because I'm going, I'm opening the door, but I know, I already know that it is um, a small space and I am actually very claustrophobic. So this is something that I'm a little bit uncomfortable with, but we will go with this, I think. I think, okay, right, let me just go through. <laughs> Okay, there is something something about the land here. So maybe there is something um, a little bit mysterious about where you're living right now, but I am definitely feeling like there is something under the house because I am seeing a house now and I'm also seeing that you might actually have interferences with technology. So this could be a little bit paranormal energy for some people. Um, and this is nothing to be afraid of but it's almost like you are afraid of it because you don't want to go into this house or there is something about being 
afraid of this energy but I'm going to go in because I have to go under to get in okay I am in a room now there is a woman here and she is very much um I feel like this has past life energy so this woman has very long gray hair. She's not scary. She is very much um, wearing one of those Victorian style dresses and her hair is gray, but it's very much um, flowy, almost like um, a goddess. <laughs> and she's asking me to sit down. So I'm going to sit down. These chairs are very historical. This is a very historical feeling. So there is something here linked to that. Um, this could be a great great grandmother. <clears throat> this could be a grandmother. I don't know. This is just or this could be you in a past life. I'm not sure. Everything is a little bit. She's looking at me a little crazy. <laughs> she's like, what is your problem? Calm down. So I am very nervous. There is a fear here for me to talk with this spirit but i am going to talk anyway she's telling she's telling me that she is trying to help me better understand places and events that have played out She's taking me up. Okay, we're walking up to a map. This map is also a very old map. So there might be something to do with that with you. Sorry, there was a dog. A dog just ran in and started running around. And it was a bit of aggressive. Okay, don't know what that's about. I feel like animals are a little bit... Okay, yes, animals are kind of agitated around... <laughs> This woman her energy is very old very old old um ancient energy and she's nodding but i feel calm i feel calm now um there is something that she was wanting me to notice she's showing me norway so maybe we are in norway or you had a past life in norway she's not you She's saying that she's not you in a past life. She knew. She knew your, your. Sorry. She's trying to get you to communicate with, um, your ancestors she knew your ancestors or she is well this is a lot like um this is the only first group that has uh, there's a lot of information she's trying to tell me she okay now she wants to take me somewhere else I seen, okay, she took me out to a child that was swinging on a little, um, it was like a, a wheel um, of a car. The child is swinging around it and she's trying to let me go and talk with the child, but the child is shy. You have a lot of spirits. Um, you could be someone who could definitely be um, somewhat of a medium or very much connected to mediumship. But this is very historical energy. Everything about this place is very interesting. I just don't understand much. <laughs> it's confusing me. I feel like this is something that you need to ask about. There's nothing to fear here. I feel very much at um, peace now. Um, it just was very like hard to get into.
The child has come up to me and said that you must be be very brave because this woman is someone who doesn't like people who aren't ready to make the change in their life. She she actually got a little bit annoyed with my energy and almost like she took me outside for fresh air and <laughs> took me to the child. This child is a young boy with really blonde hair, like almost white blonde, and he has the most blue bluest eyes, very actually Nordic looking. So that makes sense. Um, and he's wearing like little, um, what do you call those things? The straps. There is a, fa this is a family kind of setting. So I'm not sure really what else I have, I've got to see here, but this is just what I'm picking up. There's a lot of um, them moving around and leaving me and I'm following and um, now I'm down kind of by a tree, a tree stump. Okay, there, I'm looking at the tree stump and the number 30 is on it. So that must have something to do with, maybe this is going to have some have some relevance to that number but i'm seeing the number 30 on the tree trunk and this is, has a lot to do with feeling grounded as well but it's almost like the tree being cut is a symbolism for feeling a little bit of detachment from part of yourself so this i feel like this is um spirit also trying to ask you to understand past lives as well because there's some this is what it's all coming down to there is definitely past life energy here this is very very detailed for people so um just take whatever resonates and i think that i'm going to come back now um as i feel like i'm seeing the door again behind the tree trunk so i'm going to come back um so yes Oh, that was 15 minutes. Whoa. Whoa. That was different. I didn't I didn't expect that at all. I thought that I was going to go into something that was going to be very much um amazing, <laughs> like very fun. Um and I suppose all three of these groups were a little bit not what I expected to be honest. Um but let's just ask a little bit about this woman because who is she? What does she want? Um, she, there's nothing to fear with this energy, but this was definitely um, past life stuff. 100%. This was past life stuff and also it could be connected with maybe things happening, weird things happening around your house. Is um, Your energy is connecting with that as well. It's not that your house is haunted or anything. I'm not picking up anything like that. If you are feeling like that's something in your home. Um, Six of Swords. I'm going to pull another one because I'm not exactly sure. And the Eight of Wands. Okay. Let me, very, very hard to figure this out. <laughs> Sorry. Because I am feeling like this has to do with going back home and not leaving. And also I'm picking up that there is some sort of part of your soul that will feel more at home once you go back into a more holistic way of living, more of being with nature, because I'm not sure if you're really connected right now with that. I think that th this is a sign that um, wherever you're going right now, wherever you're going to be going or moving towards in the future, it has to do 
with you getting back on track with um, your per your life purpose, okay? Um, or what your soul wants you to do. Sorry, I thought I saw something over there. Um, don't worry, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely seeing that. And I, I think that in the next... quite soon actually with, well with that eight of eight of wands that it could be very soon i feel like once everything kind of sorts itself out with everything that is going on um once everything kind of sorts itself out and you get the go ahead to go i say go for it whatever this is because she is someone who's guiding you towards it she's giving you the clues and a lot of the clues are going to be in more of the uh, that kind of maybe looking into nordic think on things like that this is what i'm picking up um that little boy as well I'm trying to pick there wasn't much to go off there was just a, there was a boy ten of pentacles okay and i said this was a family thing so there was some sort of family dynamic here but there didn't seem to be a dad around um there was another girl Yeah, well, there's a girl latching on to this woman's leg and there's a boy. Um, it feels like everything from that life is completely different from what your life is now. And I feel like learning different, learning about different cultures is going to help you understand um, what it is. That you need to be doing there's something about learning about different cultures there's learning about families that are brought up a different way learning about families that have lost their parents Ch children that um have been brought up in a family that maybe there's just a lot of helping families come together and i felt that because from this woman she she lost That's what the tree trunk was. Okay, that's what the tree trunk was. The tree trunk was almost like a symbolism with the number 30. So she probably lost her husband when he was in his 30s or something along those lines. I don't know. That's something that maybe for some people might make sense. But that was something that I puck up. But if that doesn't resonate with people, just skip that. But in that is what I was seeing definitely with her is that she definitely lost her husband around that time. And I feel like right now you have to be very, very grateful for your family and the people that are around you. The people that are around you are going to ground you, okay? That is what I'm picking up because that tree trunk, it's like you're maybe in your 30s is going to be the years, the best 10 years of your life um, where you you're truly enjoying everything and just getting out there and doing things and being young. I feel like your 30s um, are going to be the most freeing for you. If you're already in your 30s, already start living this energy because this is what it's all about, sisters and mistas. Sorry, I got excited there. I, I'm, I'm actually really happy for you because I feel like you people are very much grounded anyway. And you're feeling it this what i'm already speaking so i'm feeling that um anything else from that little boy because i didn't actually that went on a tangent the little boy was showing me the family but is that connected to anyone i have the tower I'm not exactly sure what that means, but anyone that re that resonated with the description of that boy or anything, the tar for me is showing me that there is I, there's a fear with that. So if that boy um, resonates with you, worrying about it is definitely doing right now because I feel like. Um, there's not 
there's nothing strange about this um what you're experiencing so if you have a son and you're worried about your son or you're worried about your family that everything is going to just go this way it's because of this energy from this past life okay so maybe this is something that you're afraid of maybe you've always lost family members and lives before um or you've had it happen to you right now recently and this is just something that you aren't able to heal you think that you're not able to heal but this is me telling you that that is something that you need to pay more attention at um at because this is what you're kind of here to heal that's very strong coming through um also being afraid of never finding a soulmate because you're attracting your soulmate i think i said that at the start you're attracting your soulmate now but i feel like a lot of um, lifetimes you were, could never be with your soulmate and now you're kind of worried about that for some of you. But I just want to let you know that you are attracting your soul, soulmate. Let's just pull one more because this is an interesting one. Ten of Swords. You are attracting. You just need to understand that everything, all these swords... Everything that you went through brought you to this point because you are strong and you're ready for this new change. Okay, 10 is the end. 10 is the end of that cycle. And I see the new cycle being a lot of adventure and a lot of um, travel. A lot of travel and a lot of understanding different cultures and different types of people. Anyway. This is going to be a long ass video <laughs> but if you enjoyed it and you would like to see me do more of these please leave a comment down below i don't know how often i'll be able to do these but maybe once a month or something um as i really really enjoyed it um but i'm really really tired and i'm going to go to bed right now <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much all for watching and i will see you all in the future goodbye